Hi guys, for Geeks 2222 here, and today I am back with another video, and this video today is about top 10 things that really I wish Animal Jam would totally change. Okay, I know that some of these seem impossible, but try. Worth a shot. <laughs> okay, number one is... I wish there was no such thing as non-members because people always are like, oh my gosh, non-member, you and stuff. And then non-members are like, I don't like members and stuff. So, and, I mean, Animal Jam can have, mem like, non-member and members. But, like, what really gets me is that Animal Jam doesn't provide a lot for them, which they're just trying to, like, suck up their money, but, but, like, I do it because I like Animal Jam, and I just can't take being a non-member. I know some of you guys can, but that's just my opinion. Now, that's number 10. Number 9 is scammers. Scammers are all over the place. Like, you see them lots and lots of places. I wish scamming wasn't really that... I hope... I just wish that people would stop scamming. Okay, I guess. I just would wish that people would stop, stop scamming. I think everybody does, and it's just wrong, and it's hurtful to other people. Yeah, it's pixels and stuff, like, but people care about their ant items. They work hard, and people that just take them and scam them, no. Like, that's not right. Like, you're going to turn out to be a horrible person. Number eight is hackers. Like, people... Like, this person, apparently they got hacked. Keep me safe, please. Hack me. It's like, come on, people. How do you get those informations? But still, I don't think you should hack. Number seven is the people that fake to be, to be hacked. Um, like, hacked or scammed just to get rares. Like, come on, people. Just ask for a couple gifts and, or like, trade. Don't be like, please donate to me, like this person. Like, why would your name be Rare Headdress if, like, seriously? Oh my gosh, seriously? If you're hacked, then why do you have that? Like, maybe the hacker didn't take it, but still. Like, I have even seen this person many times, and they have, like, a... They had like a non rare um, headdress on trade, well, and stuff like that, but it became rare, but still. Number six is the whole diamond shop deal. Like, people are always like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, the diamond shop is so horrible and stuff. It's like, no, it's not that horrible. Like, yeah, you, in jam, it's kind of, you, you get diamonds, you can buy diamonds. Like, they're not trying to suck the money out of you for that or anything. Number five is whenever Animal Jam releases items like the new, I, what? Like the bouncy house and all those new dens and animals, people get angry and they're always like, oh, Animal Jam is just trying to suck the money out of us and stuff. No, they're, they're making new animals. What's wrong with that? Like nothing. Sorry, if you guys could hear my dog, like, tip-tapping. Number four is 
why Animal Jam has um, stuff like the pillow room. It's I know it's stuff like this. Like it was meant to be hang, like a hangout kind of deal where you have fun with your buddies and stuff, but it just turned into an adoption center. Like, what? You turn into, like, a baby animal. Like, Animal Jam's not about that. It's not about being some creepy animal, and I actually used to have, like, 13 Jags, and all of them were just, like, I don't know what they were. They were kind of random, but still, I cleared them out. Now they're building up again. But, yeah. Seriously. That was number four, right? <laughs> oh, well. Yep, number four. Number three is the... Thing is when you have this is what gets me a lot when Animal Jam un takes the item out of oh my gosh they're building up again and my dog's on camera now you can hear my dog sniffing and sneezing my very old dog like, the gazelle horns used to be lots and lots worth lots. And stuff like that. The gazelle horns, like, there are some trades, like, on the internet you will not believe. Like, a black long, like, for a gazelle horns. It's like, come on, Animal Jam, why would you put that back in the game? Number two is that you cannot block jamograms, like seriously, from the same exact person. It's like, what? You kind of just want to block the person from, like, in the settings. Oh, I want to block jamograms. Even though I kind of do think it's important to have jamograms, but there's some, like, famous people that don't really want, a, like, when they go on, they have like 200 jamograms, and they're like, oh my gosh, what the heck? And like, all of it's just spam. Like, just nuts. Crazy. What? Yeah. Number one is the... Oh, man. Uh... Is den. The den is like, well, the den's not really the issue. It's that when you want to lock your den because there's some rude person in in your den, and you're like, okay, and there's like ten pe other people in your den. You're like, okay, I need to add everybody so I can lock this one person out. Shouldn't there just be, like, a button that appears in your den, like, some little button where it's on their profile? Here, let me get one of my buddies here. Where it's just, like, in the tab button, like, lock, like, a little lockout button. But you can't really lock them out of anywhere else, so it only works in your den, like lock that specific person out and then if you want to and if you want to lock everybody else then that or you can have like a little option lock everybody out choose people to choose people to lock out or like jammers or and then choose and then and then choose one jammer to kick out and then like that's it so you click on it and then and then like you 
you click the purple's name tag and it's on there. So that would be easier. So I hope you guys liked my top 10 things Animal Jam should change. Or top 9 things. I can't remember where I was counting. But yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And...